Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I'm great. Starting a vlog from Lowe's. Hanging out over here by the basic annuals. Their words, not mine. And uh, I thought I'd just kind of walk around and look at some stuff. I actually came here to look at refrigerators because my fridge broke. There'll be more about that in the vlog that comes out after this one. But because of that, in the vlog coming out after this one, I've been to Lowe's like, I swear, probably eight times in the last week. So I thought it'd be fun to like just kind of walk around, look at some plants and Memorial Day sales going on. So let's check that out. I know the hang, would you, what's with the beeping? Okay, I think it stopped. Select hanging baskets, two for $9. What a phenomenal deal. I'm not sure which ones, because I don't see the signage, but I think it's probably these gray pot ones with the impatience. The Vinca. Look at the Vinca. Isn't it beautiful? I love these. I love a trailing Vinca, especially the ones that have like a lighter pink with the darker center in them. Gorgeous. Vinca are fantastic. No, I don't really call them Vincas. It's Vinca. I know. Tons of hanging baskets. Look at this proven winner. Hosta Seducer. Oh my goodness. Y'all getting scandalous proven winners. Lots of Alakajas. I think there's the Blue Hawaiian. These guys right here, and then Black Diamond. Pretty. Oh, wow, that's a lot of Kelly's. Captain Paco. That's a cute name. It's just kind of eh. Nice purpley color. Ooh. I like that one. Oh, that's an interesting petunia. I don't know if there's no variety name, it's just a assorted hanging basket. Check out some perennials. Always got some nice stuff here. Hey, juniper balls. What kind? Mint and julep. Cute. Smells like a juniper. Yeah, some coral bark Japanese maples. These are in one of my vlogs from a while ago when I was at a tree nursery. They get, their, I mean, it's already really pretty, but the wood on them gets like a nice vibrant orange color. It's really cool, especially in the winter time. There's kind of a better example. That's a much better example. They're both really pretty though. I like both of them. Okay, so you can get this little guy for $89.98, and it has a decent growth habit, decent structure, or $20 more, they have these big guys, but growth structure is not as great, but I think that they would, you know, end up filling out okay and being fine. They should. I like this one. That's pretty. What are you? This is the, uh, that one. Lovely variegation. Isn't that pretty? That's some clearance roses. Five dollar knockouts. That's not too bad. It's pretty easy to revive these guys. They're tough, sturdy plants. Five bucks, that's not bad at all. But I don't need it. But looking at fridges, not shopping for plants. I mean, I'm sure I'll get some, but wasn't my objective today. Three dollar hydrangeas. Tons of majesty palms and lots of Kimberly Queen Ferns, no surprise there. Hibiscus trees, Mandevillas, Diplodinias. Oh, that is vibrant. No label, just a six pack assorted petunia, much more purple in person. This one doesn't look pink and like real, like right here, doesn't look pink at all. I kind of love when you're talking and sometimes the words just stop coming out of your mouth, especially when you're trying to make a video. Love the black lace elderberries. Those are nice plants for foliage and contrast. And the pugsters. You guys seen the pugsters from Proven Winners? Really cute. They stay lower. Their foliage is a little bit larger and more chunky. And they're just really cute. I'm trying to put the tag here in the shade so you guys can see that. These are the pugster bodleias. Butterfly bushes. Dwarf butterfly bush. Okay, so maybe it's just these. Oh, but those look like the ones inside. So, with the gray pots, I guess those are the two for nine dollars. I don't know, it's a good deal. Look at these lantana trees, they're a little thirsty. That's okay. Look at they're just beautiful. Nice big confetti spreading. You can't see that. I'm so sorry. Confetti spreading lantana. The foliage, not the foliage, those are flowers, guys. I haven't coffee yet. It's very early. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I actually don't drink much coffee anymore, so I have to stop using that as an excuse. I just don't talk that good. And the nice thing with the lantana is they're fairly easy to overwinter. I usually just kind of let mine go a little bit dormant and they just sort of chill. Like I make sure they get a little bit of water like every other week, but they just relax. And then when it gets nice, I bring them back outside and boom, they take off again. 
always got to pull these things apart to tell which ones you like. The perception gets jaded. Perception? Perception. See what I'm talking about? When they're right next to each other. I like them both between these two. This one over here, I'm not liking the way that the trunk looks down here. Right there. That could be problematic someday. And then that one's just not as full. Eeny, meeny, miny, this one. Okay, I should have done that last because that's really going to be getting in the way. I laid her down so I can walk a little bit better. It's fine like this as long as I don't run into anything. They had some verbena here last time I was here that I really liked. I need to go look for those. They're like an upright variety. I love these super cows. Is that what these are? Yeah, pink super cow. Those are beautiful. I mean, stunning. I love that. The thing whenever I've planted these before, these Petcoa, the super cows, is that like they look really pretty when I buy them. Like, gorgeous. And then a few weeks later, after I plant them, they look more like this guy. A little bit more faded. See that? Which is still pretty. It's coming through much more vibrant on camera than it is in person. Just, you know, differences in temperature and soil pHs and whatnot. But they're still pretty either way, so it's alright. Oh, they have more of these over here, but it's a different variety of the Latania. Sorry, I was planting right before I came in, so there's a little bit of dirt under my nails. I'm so sorry. Tried to clean it out, but then I started playing with the plants when I got here. Those are cute too. They haven't flowered out yet, so it's harder to say what they look like. I think I see a flower up there. Nah, not quite. Haven't opened up enough. Oh, it smells like Lantana. From the picture here, it looks like they uh, fade out over time into a pink. I shouldn't say fade out. They age out into being more solid pink, whereas the confetti maintains a more of a multicolor thing. Oh, hi, Magnolia. Oh, that smells so good. Those are the Bracken's Brown Beauties, if you were wondering. Lovely Magnolias. They have a really nice form to them, more cold hardy. They don't get as big as a regular Grandiflora at all. They say much smaller. This is 30 to 50 feet. I think the Grandiflora is composed like, what, 80, 100 feet over many, 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 many years. And I don't know if that's a sale or not, but the knockouts inside were $18.98, so maybe that's a sale. I don't know. Knockouts are cool, though. Nice, easy roses. There it is. This is the purple bicolor verbena. More of an upright habit. So it's 12 to 18 inches by 12 to 18 inches. I like to make sure when I'm picking them out that they're sturdy. Like, I don't mess with them a bunch. I'm not trying to break them or anything like that. But sometimes you pick up a plant and it looks a little bit limp. Let's see if there's any of those in here. The, these are... I mean, so that's not really limp, but it would bother me. More just because the risk of me breaking it before I even get it home. Those weren't really very good examples. Y'all are smart, you know what I mean? You guys like the Sunfinity Sunflowers? They're kind of cool. I grew some last year. They didn't do so well in the heat, but um, it was really hot and wet, and that can kind of spell disaster, so that may have had something to do with it. Oh, Portulaca. Anybody have a tag? Oh, it's just an assorted. That's okay. So pretty. The only thing I'm not crazy about with Portulaca, with Portulacaria, these guys, they, when the sun, when they get into the dark, the flowers close up, which makes it so that, like, in the, like, early to mid-afternoon in my backyard, the flowers are closed. So that's the only thing I don't like about them, but otherwise, beautiful annuals. So much color. Hmm. Well, it's not a terrible price considering how big these guys are. Uh, I have my Lorada. I don't need another, but wow. Um, whoa. These are huge. I mean, they're up on a pallet and they're potted, but there's a gazebo right here. You can compare across that. So, you know, I'm probably take a little bit off of that, but still, it's massive. Hmm. <laughs> the size of this leaf. It's gigantic. Guys, I know this is gonna sound weird, but I have kind of like fallen out of love with the Ficus Lorado. It's just like, from a design point, if I could keep them inside, I would, and I would love them. But my cats and everything, and I don't have a room bright enough for them. The one I have does great in my grow space but eventually that's gonna get too big and it's gonna be a nuisance to have around. Pardon the lighting, sorry about that. They're babies. You move these guys a little bit, they drop some leaves. I mean, they throw a fit over the slightest changes. Sometimes, not always. The one I have is actually pretty tough, 
but I've had them in the past and I was like, you are a wimp and I don't appreciate that. I like my plants kind of tough. And once they've settled in, they're really tough and resilient. They are so cute though. Okay, so I guess what I'm saying is I still like them. I like them a lot. I just don't feel like having to overwinter it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they're pretty. These are nice big plants. Oh, I love these fuchsias. They're kind of a light pink, purple. That's well, purple in person, pink on camera. So many hydrangeas. Western sword ferns. Love that glossy foliage. Same thing with the shield ferns. Very different. But they have a really nice texture to them. Oh, there's more of those lantanas. Got some, what are these, blueberry ice? Bougainvillea. Pretty. You can't really see much on them, but they're pretty. A whole bunch of bananas, Monrovia. So I bet these are pricey. Yeah, that's a lot for banana trees. What is this? Sabrina Rojo? Blood banana. There's the acumen. It's just the Zabrinas. Oh yeah, the Rojo. I think they stay more red on the underside. And then Siam Ruby. Beautiful. Pull this down, have a look at it. Nice red foliage with some green variegation. I've always liked these a lot. They just add such a crazy tropical contrast to everything else. Neat banana variety. Oh, these are all full of flowers. They're pretty. Barbara Karst Bougainvillea. Gorgeous. I love Bougainvillea. <laughs> Why are they still calling to me though? Okay, I am home. Look at how pretty. I love this lantana. I did, I think... No, it's not broken. I thought maybe it broke a little bit in the car, but held up okay. It just gave it a really heavy drink. I wanted to pot this up and this video is going to pot it up with some other plants that are fairly drought tolerant and sun loving. But uh, it's just, I, it's me not showing camera. It is kind of dehydrated and I really don't want to plant something that's dehydrated. Just because when they're dehydrated, it makes them a little bit more frail and brittle. I don't, I don't like planting dehydrated plants. So I gave it a good soaking, but still it probably won't be ready to be planted until like tonight. So I'll just do it tomorrow. Uh, but that won't fit into this video, so sorry. But when I do plant it up, I'll make sure that that's filmed and everything. I like it a lot. I think it's very, very, very pretty. Oh, the hummingbirds and butterflies and bees are gonna be so happy with it. Then I have that, all of these guys were kind of thirsty by the time I got home. So both the verbenas in here, and then that pet koa, and uh, I got a new nose hosel, hose nozzle. <laughs> it's a nose hosel, that's not what it's called. All kinds of sun impatience and things like that. I'm gonna start planting those up. That'll all be in tomorrow's vlog. Well, some of it will be, not all of it. I'm not gonna do my entire landscape in one vlog, but you know what I mean. Well, I hope everybody's doing well. That was gonna be a video like, look at Memorial Day sales, but the things weren't really labeled for that. So it was just kind of like, let's walk around and look at plants, which is fine, hopefully. Hey, Toby, say hi. Say hi, Tobes. Say hi, okay, good boy. Yeah, you good boy. Can you say hi? Uh oh, what the window? Knocking over my castor beans. You good boy, Tuck? Yes, you are. You such a good doggy. Oh, it's getting hot out there. Just remember, I can't really walk around and do much out there because you'll see a lot of what's going on in the next video. So, like I said, I hope everybody's doing well. Say hi to Pumpkin. Not Pumpkin. I missed you. It's, it's the same finger it's always been. Thanks, baby girl. I have all my social media linked down below. Follow me, I'll follow you back. I'm on Instagram like way more than anything else. It's fun looking at each other's pictures and being plant nerds together. And if you haven't already and you'd like to, give the video a thumbs up. Makes a big difference for the channel. Subscribe as well and hit that notification box that I upload multiple times a week. And comment down below and say hi. I love talking to everybody. What are some fun things you guys have been seeing around at your stores? Getting any good deals? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, 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 oh. Ah, so gentle. Good girl, Pumpkin. You're so gentle. Like I said, I hope everybody's doing well, having a great day, a great life, and everything's just going fantastic for you. <laughs> now this turned into a cat video. You're such a sweetheart, Pumpkin. Ah, she is wound up. All right. As always and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.